Hi, on this video, I'm going to talk about data layer in N layer business application. First, let's create a database in SQL Server called Shopping. And then in this database, we are going to create a customer table and an order table. Uh, this is one to many relationship table. One customer can have many orders, and we insert field record into the customer and order table. Let's run it. Here is the end layer business application. We have data layer, business layer, and presentation layer. On this video, we are going to focus on the data layer. And in this data layer, uh, we have like ADO.NET data access and entity framework data access. Let's take a look at the contracts. This is the I customer data access object for uh, customer. This data layer, data object project has a reference to the business layer uh, object. So we have a reference to the customer class here and uh, order class here. These two um, classes are mapped to the database we just create. And then we have this I order DAO interface. This is the I customer DAO interface. And we have a uh, DAO factory interface that returns the customer uh, DAO interface and order DAO interface. Okay, so let's take a look at the ADO.NET implementation of this interface. The database access class controls the low level ADO.NET database access. It seals the complexity from its client. This is what the code looks like. We have read inside this read function basically the idea is to return uh, a customer object for example uh, from database and return the read list returns uh, all the customer for example from database insert uh, for example we can insert a customer to database update we can update a customer to database and delete we can delete a customer from database and the set parameter here basically uh, some of the SQL uh, we may need to pass in the parameter we can use this method to set the parameter for the SQL and this SQL server customer DAO is the concrete implementation of I customer DAO interface We have get customer, get customers. From on the get customer database, we are calling the low level database access uh, class, and then uh, call the read function and passing the uh, SQL. And here is a function callback 
the make data object it includes how to make a customer from the returned uh, customer information from the data database in here so data reader customer ID we convert this to a customer ID and com similar idea convert the name and version to the name and version this make data object and then we have insert customer update customer and delete customer and the create parameter is for for the update uh, we need to create a parameter for the update so this is for us to create a parameter to pass in the SQL in here because this SQL need the parameter uh, this is the concrete implementation of the I order data access object uh, it has get order get orders by customer ID and this is the SQL Server data access object factory uh, it returns uh, the SQL customer and order data access object and then in here we have uh, is the entity framework version of the data access this is the EDMX uh, is they map to the database tables customer table and order table and we change the name to order entity and then the entity context factory uh, returns the uh, entity framework context inside the implementation in the entity customer data access object we are returning the customer if we find a match ID get customers we are using entity framework context to get all the customers and then convert the uh, entity customers to the business object and then return the list of the customer and then we have insert we have update and then we have delete similar idea uh, this is the entity order data access object that implement the I order data access interface uh, there's get order by order ID and get orders by customer ID and this entity data access object factory returns uh, entity customer DAO and entity order DAO and this mapper is for us to convert the entity framework uh, customer object to the business object and 
Also, we can do it the other way around, convert the business object to the entity framework customer object. Mm, this uh, is the factory of the database access factory. Uh, it uh, reads the information from the config file and then uh, return the right uh, data access factory. Uh, If we SQL, then we return the uh, SQL Server uh, data access factory. If it's entity framework, we return the entity data access factory. Here uh, is where we read the config file and then to call the data uh, factories to uh, return the the data factory that you want and then um, return it provides the uh, customer data access object and order data access object uh, basically this class hides the detail of the database access object and it returns appropriate data access objects. In this example, uh, we are going to use the entity framework uh, for the uh, data access. And you can use this uh, common this line out and uncommon this line then can change to the uh, ADO .NET data access. Let's test run the example. We select different one. Yeah. And then the we have the orders of the customer detail view rendered here. Yep, that's all. Uh, the code example is attached to the uh, detail section. Thanks for watching the video.